guys, it's Judy here with my life as Kikai. Today's video is going to be an easy zombie makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed that intro. I had so much fun making it and filming it. So let's just get into this tutorial. Honestly, if you are a beginner like me, if I can do it, you can do it too. This sort of look is really out of my comfort zone. So this video is really sort of like just showing you step by step the things that I did to get this look. Now I'm going to reiterate, I was learning as I was going along with this as well. So the first thing you see me do was actually quite an unnecessary step. I was actually trying to block out my eyebrows, but I actually didn't end up needing to do that as well as I'm so bad at it. This is the first time I've ever tried to block out my eyebrows and it didn't actually work. So I ended up just trying to incorporate my natural brows into my look as well. So just skip that step altogether. So the first thing I did after failing at blocking out my eyebrows was going in with the palest shade of concealer and foundation that I had. I just blended that out all over my face and and down my neck as well and in the areas that we're going to be showing through the rips that I did in my t-shirt. Then I went in with that darkest shade of foundation in my RCMA foundation palette and I just used that to apply contours in the natural places where I would normally apply contours just a whole lot heavier. So I went down my nose, along my cheekbones and down my neck as well and then I redefined all those hollows and sunken in areas on my neck. A little tip here is as you move your neck around you will naturally see where the more hollowed out areas of your body are and that's where I applied the contour. Then I just blended all of that out with a brush and throughout the process of this video I might have had to go back and reapply and then blend it out again until I got the desired depth of shadow that I wanted. Then I'm going in with this dark grayish sort of eyeshadow. In this tutorial I will be using the Morphe 35K eyeshadow palette. And I'm just using some of that gray eyeshadow to blend out over the places where I applied all that contour. Using a color toned shadow helps make the skin look more dead and lifeless. I'm bringing that down my neck and decolletage as well. Then I'm really blending that out under the hollows of my cheeks to give myself a really sunken in look. Then I'm taking a black creamy eyeliner and just really thickly applying that in my waterline and just on the outer edge of my eye as well. And with my finger, I just smudged all of that really messily around my eyes and sort of smudged it down my eyes as well. Now that redness in my eyes is not special effects. My eyes were actually really red that day for some unknown reason. <laughs> now taking a really thin eyeliner brush, I'm taking that into some really black eyeshadow and just sort of drawing some squiggly veins around my eyes. I didn't really have a any form or fashion in the way I did this. I just really lightly held the brush at the base so I had the least amount of pressure and just sort of let it drag around and just see where they ended up. Then I'm drawing in my black eyebrows. As you can see here, this part was a little bit of a disaster. I drew them up to give me that angry look and then I ended up erasing them and just going with the natural shape of my eyebrows. So going again with that thin black eyeliner and then just smudging out the edges. I just went in back and forth, back and forth until I came out with a look that I kind of wanted. And the good thing about this look is that if you ended up with a line or a squiggle or some sort of shadow that you didn't want, you can always blend it out with your fingers. And then I took a red liquid lipstick and used that to apply a little bit more color, depth, and dimension around my face, especially around those areas where I applied the black vein lines. I know zombies don't typically have any color or any sort of warmth in their look or in their face, but this red really turned out nicely in the end, especially after I blended it all in with the black. I blended out some more black eyeshadow in the contours of my face. And again, this look is really just playing with shadows and colors in a very messy fashion. I took some of that red around my eyes as well just to give myself a more sick look around the eyes. A lot of that red sort of blended out into purple as well so that really 
helped with the look. And again, I just went back and forth with that black vein lines just until I was happy with the outcome. I took some of that white NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the eyeline just to make it blend in with the black and come out grey. I blended out a whole lot more black eyeshadow around the eyes as well. And taking a lot of that black eyeshadow down my neck and in the hollows of my neck and decolletage as well just to give myself more of a dead and sunken in look. Something that might be helpful for you to consider is to have a reference photo for you to look at while you are doing this look. I don't have one specific reference photo while I was doing it, but I did go through a whole lot of zombie photos and special effects photos that I sort of incorporated into my look as I was going along. And honestly, if you were struggling for a makeup look and you did not have any idea on how to do a zombie makeup look, look, if I can do it, you can too. It's just a matter of going back and forth, looking at photos, going back and forth with these few colors. Really, I'm just applying black, gray, white, and a little bit of red to my face and just blending it all together. And as you apply these eyeshadows, you can look at yourself in the mirror and think, I need a bit more shadow here, I need a little bit more highlight there, and that's basically what I was doing with this whole look. So that's basically the extent of this tutorial, guys. As you can, you can see exactly what I'm doing here. I hope it was helpful to you. If you guys did enjoy this look and you sort of used it and built upon it to create your own zombie makeup look, then be sure to tag me on social media. It's Life as Geek Eye on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I would love to see the looks that you came up with this Halloween. I just let out my hair, sort of mess it up and tangled it and teased it until I looked so messy and not cute really. But I don't think I've ever seen a cute zombie. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you are ready for the Halloween season. I have another two makeup looks planned for you this week, so be sure to stay tuned, turn on the notification bell if you haven't already. If this video is in the least bit helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!